The Witch Queen's trailer hid some secrets that I'm sure most viewers actually missed. References to upcoming enemies, Oryx, and Destiny 1's version of Mars. Let's discuss what these secrets may mean and if we may return to a darkness infested planet in the Witch Queen expansion. These coordinates put the gate to the Black Garden near the lost city of Freehold. It's been buried in the sand since the collapse. Now, the Cabal occupy the area, and most of Mars. No one gets through their exclusion zone. Throughout the video, I'm going to discuss scenes from the Witch Queen trailer, possible hints to where the story may be going, and also some evidence from the credible leak from a few months ago. Now, I'll give you a warning when that part comes up, but here's your initial warning, I guess. In the Witch Queen cinematic trailer, we see Guardian searching through a forest, and then Savathun reveals her new hive army and ghosts. What we also see though is Ikora Ray, and she appears to be making some sort of plan or strategy within this area. Now some community members like Reddit user Thick Heartman have made some cool discoveries. If you slow this down frame by frame, one of these images resembles Destiny 1's version of Mars. Some also believe Ikora herself may be standing on Mars, and that's kind of tough. Here's a comparison of Evening Mars and then the one from the trailer. This could just be different areas of Savathun's throne world. So there's a couple of possibilities. Either this is just Savathun's throne world and we really weren't supposed to see the board and the background assets, or it's actually hinting at what will happen in Witch Queen. Mars could be a location we actually visit, or maybe just a focal point in the background lore. Another image on Ikora's board shows none other than Oryx. Now we know Oryx is of course dead, so what this means, I'm not sure. We can throw out tons of theories like, hey, they're going to revive him with the ghost, or Ikora is just studying Oryx's past to prevent what Savathun is doing now. There's many options. So what's currently going on with Mars? The planet was actually super important previously. Cities like Freehold, facilities for Clovis Bray and Rasputin's birthplace, and gates to places like the Black Garden. In Season of the Arrivals, the Pyramid ships would arrive though, and Mars happened to be one of those planets that became engulfed by the darkness. Now, it's our belief that these planets still exist out there, it's just that they're darkness infested and cut off in terms of communication. I don't believe they're actually destroyed. So we could return there theoretically, it just depends on what Bungie has planned of course. We also became aware of increased Hive and Darkness activity lately thanks to missions like the Glycon. The Glycon navigation system marks their destination as an anomaly left in the wake of Mars's disappearance. Guardian, this anomaly left in Mars's wake. 
I've seen it and others like it, in place of each world the darkness stole. At the edge of our heliopause. Callus meant to commune with the darkness. This array contains research logs. The entity's voice emanates from the grave of Mars. One piece of a larger web. Others align with our missing planets and moons, as well as many points beyond Sol's borders. Callus's scribe identifies a voice in the darkness. One of their mother. So something was happening around Mars with this darkness anomaly. From this season, a Cabal commander speaks to Saladin and says, We are tracking the movements of Hive ships in the vicinity of the Mars anomaly. There have been developments in the Dreaming City regarding Zivu Arath you should be aware of. Saladin replies, Lead the way. So in a previous video I discussed that Keitel's forces are out there battling Zivu Araths near the edge of the reef. So are these high forces Zivus around this Mars anomaly, or are they related to Savathun? So here is the leak discussion I mentioned earlier. You can click away, I'll give you a couple of seconds if you don't want to hear this. So the Pacebin leak revealed a bunch of correct info about the future of Destiny, that anniversary event, Witch Queen's plot points, and smaller things like maps returning to the Crucible. What it also told us though was supposed locations for Witch Queen. It said this, now I'm paraphrasing, but essentially said, We will work with Ikora to find the entrance to Savathun's throne world. Now we do know Ikora is a big part of this expansion, thanks to what Bungie said before, Season of the Splicer, and also we see her in the trailer, so I could see this making sense. Now perhaps Mars is a location, but we could be reading into it too much. Maybe not the whole Destiny 1 version is returning, just a certain section for a mission. This could be like a Phobos situation from Destiny 1 in The Taken King. It was just an intro mission on Phobos, and the rest of the DLC took us to the Dreadnought. Zavala, we made it to our ship. We're heading home. So perhaps we will go to Mars to find the entrance to Savathun's throne world, and then just explore that location from there. Ikora may scout things out, her home base may be on Mars, but most of the action will in fact take place in that throne world. Now if this is true, I'm sure things will look a little different with the planet thanks to whatever the darkness did with this anomaly and things like that, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens for sure. Anyway Guardians, that's all I got for today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Will we be heading to Mars in some fashion, or is the throne world the main location for the Witch Queen expansion? If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.